Hey guys, Ahagman2 here. Welcome to another MX Simulator update. Uh, today we are not going to be in Indiana. I accidentally have that set in Indiana. We're doing the Miller Motorsports Park in Utah. Um, so we're doing an update on this one. And uh, it's a pretty unique track. It's mainly flat, not much elevation at all. As you can see the overview of it right here. And um, yeah. Uh, I'm not too big of a fan of the track, but it's pretty simple, so uh, it's just sometimes you can get caught up in certain spots of the track, so I'm just careful with it. You just gotta be uh, smooth. And uh, so yeah, one of my teammates, uh, Brayden, also know, uh, known as Osias, gave me the idea to talk about our team as a whole and how we did at the RF. Um, but first I'm gonna go ahead and talk a bit about the track. And uh, so yeah, that section through there I usually went through pretty good. And then here, I never really had much problems here. Um, this corner sometimes caused me some trouble right there, that little bump. Sometimes with a pain, but I always tried that inside there. And through here, it's pretty simple. Just don't go over the bars. And check up a bit for this uh, hip or yeah, hip step up thing. And just almost hold it wide open through here. Oh, you might get a little bouncy though. <laughs> um, in the race, RF race, I went to the outside here a lot because uh, the, the line that I just took is a lot more popular and probably faster. So I'd always take the other one and hope that I'd avoid pileups, which it actually helped me pretty well. And then, oh, rip. Rip that. Uh, I'd always try to go to the inside here and then do like a triple or double single um, because it, I could not triple from the outside. I have to do double double. So I think it's just faster to double single from the inside. But those ruts are a pain as you can see me having problems with it. This tabletop can be deceiving sometimes. And then I always try to triple into this and get sketchy every now and then and then just double through the rest of them. take this outside it's pretty big and pretty nice and uh, during the race I always under jumped it because I was afraid to over jump it because that would happen and then during the first moto on uh, this next section here we're stuck in this dumb spongebob in this next section I'd always go to the outside and try to double in from the outside like I'm going to try right now but I never hit it clean during the race like something like stupid like that would happen so I just kind of gave up but the first half of the race I'd always try doubling in from the outside and that's what really killed me for the first moto anyway um so yeah this section through here always gave me fits especially this corner I just always try to baby it through because it's so deep it's you could if you get in it right it's good but if you fail and you're screwed and this stupid jump I hate the landing because you, if you don't hit it, you have to, if you hit it in a certain spot, you're going to get legs off no matter what. And it's so stupid. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I always go to the inside here, get this second line. So now I can't go straight for some reason. Um, so, alright. Let's try to get a decent lab going here. And uh, so I'll go ahead and talk about how my first moto went. Um, I, was, I tried to jump the gate both motos to get like a good jump. Um, I was off just a little bit each moto, so I got stuck in the gate both motos. And uh, the first moto, I got caught up with noobs, you know, got taken out a few times, the norm, and got up to 14th, which is pretty decent. And then the second moto got a much better start. Um, I got through the pack, what the heck, that's so stupid. I got through the pack way better, and it's actually up to this about point right here, and I was an 11. And there's a huge pileup right here, and I hit the pileup. And then I had to go all the way off to the right side of the track, and I missed a timing gate up here at the top of this hill. So I went all the way back to last, and I was up to about this point in the track right here. And then I had to stop, turn around, go back to that jump, and go hit that timing gate, and I was in dead last. So from 11th to dead last because of a pileup that I got caught up in. Oh gosh. Hay bales. Um, so the rest of the team did pretty well. Um, well, Dwayne, he didn't really care for the track much at all and didn't really get too much practice time in it. So he was really considering rage quitting, but I just talked him through it and said, you're not rage quitting. So um, 
yeah, he ended up going like 24th, 26th or something. Um, and then, um, the uh, only other person who raced was uh, Osias, also known as Braden Carter, in the 250s. And uh, he, he came through the Concy because he's only able to put one lap down in qualifying. And he got second in the Concy and then got top 10 in uh, both motos, I think. Second moto, I think he got 11th. I'm not for sure, though, as we are nose diving here. <coughs> I'm just not very good at whipping currently, I don't know why. So during the race I didn't try to whip at all. I just just consistent straight. <laughs> no worries. Usually I hit that line pretty consistently. Messed up here though. Off to the side a little. There we go. Still cased it, but not that much. So, pretty terrible lap, but oh well. This is our final lap as well. Only able to do three laps on this race. As we almost went over the berm there. Come on. That's just... <laughs> this game is so irritating in some things. That's why I think it's not the best simulator, because it's harder than real life. Which is kind of stupid. But it's a challenge, and that's why I like it, because it's a challenge. And uh, I enjoy trying to overcome challenges, and you just have to get used to it, you know. Uh, it's the thing with a lot of games, but this game in particular. Once you get used to it, then you're pretty good at it. Um, the key is consistency, which I have not found yet, because I'm trying to be consistent at my fast pace. Or, it's not that fast, but at my the highest speed that I can go, I try to be consistent at that pace. And I'm just not there yet. Um, so just a lot more practice. Which I've been putting a lot of practice into it. Which sucks. Because I'm not doing as good as I would have liked. See it. Case that. <laughs> and I uh, hit it third. I probably actually bogged a little bit. But you know, there's no way I could hit that line consistently. So I didn't even try in the race once. It seems like with every RF race is I'm coming through the pack. And every time I get up to a certain position, then I'm still catching the people in front of me. I just run out of time to get more positions. I could probably get top 10 if I were to get a decent start and ride good. You know, if I were to get a top 5 start and people were be stupid and the fast people get stuck in the back, I should be staying in the top 5 for most of the race. Maybe even get a top top five. I'm just trying to get top tens at this point. That's my goal. So I did get 15th overall here in RF. Um, but definitely could have gotten better. I think I got like 12 points. God dang it. This track. I'm kind of glad we're under this track. Because the more I play it, the more annoyed I get with it. Like, why would you... Mm. I've had crashes where I should have had legs off, and then you just get those where... Why do you get legs off? It makes no sense whatsoever. Um, so... Yeah, it's... Holy cow. Why did I get penalized so much? Uh, I don't know. Whatever. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please leave a like if you did enjoy, and I'll talk to you guys later.